What's up, guys? I'm doing a little farming right now. Um, and I also have a nice little um, War 3 star that I did against the Town Hall 11 uh, using bowlers. That was pretty badass. Um, this is how I farm up my Dark Elixir. In case you haven't watched any of my other videos, I use uh, Queen Walk Method. It works out very well for me. If I go hard, I can get, I don't know, 50, 50, 60,000 Dark Elixir a day. Um, I just need to get past this last air defense over here, which I'm not sure that I'll be able to. So I'm going to drop this Grand Warden in to toughen my queen up. And that way he can help with the enemy queen there. Um, so basically we have this whole side gashed open now. And when I lose my queen, I can go in from that side with my balloons I don't ever use clan castle troops and I try not to use spells that often um holy shit queen's getting bombed by little skeleton dudes um that way these raids are as cheap as possible but there goes my queen. I don't even know if I used her fucking ability. Son of a bitch. Anywho, I've got the majority of the dark elixir. So what I'm going to do, there's two air defenses there. Um, I'm going to go in here. Go in this way. Follow that up with my minions. Um, drop that there, give those balloons a little bit of help, and there we go, see if we can drop all that, oh shit, I let my Grand Warden die, okay, usually I don't suck it up like that, but it'll be okay, so we'll deploy the king now. I don't care if I get 50% um, or anything like that. Oh, right over. But I got all the Dark Elixir, so that's all that matters. Um, we'll go in here to the Warlog clan. Warlog, this last war. We only lost this war because this guy here did not attack see number two did not attack um but we'll go ahead and check out this replay here this is where i go in with the bowlers and destroy this dude um bowlers are so op dude they they just annihilate everything. You'll you'll see. Um, I kind of let my giants die a little bit, but my healer started healing them back, and I actually even forgot to use my king's ability in this one. Once that uh, single target inferno got locked on, it was pretty much over anyways though. So. I mean, look at the center of this base. It's fucking annihilated already. Especially because he had single target infernos. That's what really got his ass kicked. I just destroyed this guy. So, I got a uh, two star on number two, Town Hall 10, because he was more um he had a lot more compartments so it was harder for the bowlers to move around but 
Um, I was like, well, shit. I three-starred their number one. There's no way he's going to three-star me. He got lucky and got two-star, but he went in where I didn't think he was going to go. But anyways, he didn't three-star me, and we were pretty close at that point. So I was like, yeah, we got this shit in the bag because Sonny hadn't used any of his attacks yet. And yeah, no. That's what I get for thinking. But you see that? That was pretty badass. I didn't even use my queen's ability. Uh, that's how you three-star a Town Hall 11. Was his, was his defenses maxed? Uh, his wizard towers, yes. His cannons were not. And, well, now that the new update's out, his archer towers were not. And nor were his mortars. But he was close. So that was a pretty good job on my part. Not to pat myself on the back and whatnot, but hey. Let's go ahead and check out this one. We'll call this Three Star Saturday. See what um, Not So Slim Shady. Uh, can do here against Hong Gom. I mean, we already know that he has three starred this guy, but let's uh, see how he does it. Looks like he's using Go Wipe. Is that two golems? Wizards and Wizards in his clan castle cleared a path. For his P.E.K.K.A.s and heroes to go in. And it looks like he used four P.E.K.K.A.s. Which is pretty bold. That's a lot of housing space. And that's good, good um, earthquake spell placement there. That opened up the whole entire core of the base. Um, so they're easy, easy to move around. That town hall went down really fast. Now he's just got to get by all four of these uh, Teslas here. But, I mean, I feel like Clash of Clans is dead these days. Like, I get so many more views on my Clash Royale content and barely any on my Clash, Clash of Clans stuff. Unless it's like anti bowler um, stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up. Which just kind of sucks because I still have a lot of fun playing Clash Clans. Um, I like Clan Wars and I really like the fact that they brought out the friendly battles, but it's just dying. Like, a lot of the YouTubers don't really focus on Clash Clans anymore. It's Clash Royale and Pokemon Go, um, which I'm going to try to do a little bit more Pokemon Go content um, in the not-so-distant future. But you see how I have all my giant bombs there? Because most of the time, when you go to attack the Eagle Artillery... You're going to come in from here and place a jump spell there. So when they jump over, boom, they die. It's happened to me in war. I made a video on it. Check it out. Let's see. Anything high level. Good defense troops. Okay, so we'll give them two minions. And we'll give him... One, two, three. Give me three archers. I don't like to see donation requests sitting. But, anywho. I'm going to end this. Ooh, I'm close to level 154. I'm going to end this video here. Um, please let me know if you would like to see more Clash of Clans content in the uh, comments below. 
Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe. Peace.